Kenya. So with me, the biggest traveler in Africa. So what you can see from a distance that is uh, Nairobi National Park. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> greetings, greetings, good people, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just kidding. This is Go See Africa right here, coming live and direct from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm very sure you're surprised to see who's this. In case you don't know me, he talks a lot about me. <laughs> so you probably know who I am. But in case you don't know me, I'm African Tigers, a content creator, traveling. I'm from Kenya, so basically I'm home. But today, today, I want to give my brother here some adventure. So I've been promising to meet him for so long. It's been very hectic. Like, you know, just getting that time sometimes is quite hard because of, you know, there's a lot of things to do. So today I just want to give him a treat. And we see the city. I'm going to take him somewhere nice, you know, to just chill and hang out for the evening. So come with us and make sure you hit the like button, share and subscribe. In case this is your first time here, in case you've never subscribed, in case you're coming from my channel, go show him some love. He's one of those people who are always, always, always supporting me. And you know, when people support or show you love, you give them back what they give you. So please, if you're African Tiger, if you're watching from the African Tigress Nation, you know how we do it. Go show my brother some love and let's go. Oh, do you wanna do you have anything to say, my brother here? Today I'm vlogging on your channel. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, what's up? My name is Gosi Africa, a traveler and a YouTuber based in Nairobi, Kenya. So today I'm hanging up with the, the person who inspired me to start my YouTube channel. So we are in Nairobi and we expect to show you more. Yeah, come with us, come with yeah, us come for with us. an adventure. Yeah. What, what's the first video you are? Now I'm going to make this a little interview with you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what's the first video you watched? Of me. Of you. Yeah. I watched you. I watched you in Muranga. Wait, wait, sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. I was. Oh, I was watching you way back in. I think 2020. Uh huh. Was in the US. You call 2020. Yeah. You were vlogging with uh, Go Black Africa and uh, ba call him Back to Nature. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. back to Nature. Oh, when you went to Muranga. Yeah, when you went to Muranga. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's when I started watching you. Ah. At that time, I still, I think you are still, you are still learning. Uh huh. Yeah, you are still, you are still learning about uh, the, the YouTube streets. Yeah. Yeah. You are, you were at around uh, two thousand, I think twenty five hundred. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't much. But now you are a superstar. <laughs> and you can learn from me. <laughs> oh, born, born as, I was born a superstar. You were born a superstar. <laughs> no, I don't consider myself at, at that. At time, we never had the dream to do YouTube. Yeah, but I was just learning. I was just learning. So thank you so much I'm for... Happy, I'm happy you inspired me. Thank you so much for always supporting. Yeah. By the way, I noticed, I noticed, yeah, after a while I was like, who's this always mentioning? <laughs> Even somebody mentioned it on my video, yeah. so I was like really curious to see you. Yeah, whenever something good, you have to appreciate Yeah, thank yeah, you so much. It belongs to Cesar. All right. Yeah, you're doing a good job out there, and you're so much proud of uh, the African girl, yeah? Uh -huh. Since someone, a girl out there competing with the big men and winning over them. Yeah. But um, I, I, I really can't say, personally, I really can't say, <laughs> I'm not competing. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm living not, my dream. Yeah, you're living your dream. <laughs> I'm you living my dream. Job. I'm doing uh, things that I'm passionate about. I'm happy. I cannot complain at all. And right now, um, uh, the African Caribbean princess or queen, whichever one, African Caribbean princess. That's my new name. Oh, that's my new name. Uh, uh, African Caribbean uh, princess. I am the Trinidad ambassador. <laughs> you are the Trinidad ambassador. <laughs> the Trinidad ambassador, yeah. But they love that country. Yeah. Uh, I made you fall in love with it. Exactly. And you're gonna fall in love with everywhere else sure. I go because 
the adventure just began. And I wish to travel there one day. You will I'm fall in love. Yeah. You will fall in love. You, you, you're gonna get confused when you get to the Caribbean. All countries are beautiful and unique in their own sure. way. And every country has something to offer. Would you advise someone maybe to live in Trinidad and Tobago? Anywhere in the Caribbean, Trinidad, Tobago, be it Barbados, be it Jamaica, yeah. Guyana. I haven't been to there to everywhere, but I think I think the Caribbean is nice. Especially as a Kenyan, you're gonna yeah. fall in love with it. Oh. It's like it's like I, I can't say like Kenya, yeah. but some aspects, just that uh, the people there I find them to be more vibrant. They, they mostly like Nigerians, if I can say, like they are more vibrant, you know, as we are more way laid back, as Kenyans we laid back, sure. yeah. But I find the people there to be more vibrant, like you call it Kenyans laid back, yeah. We are laid back to can, be can honest. You a Kenyan and, a, and maybe a Ugandan or a Tanzanian, of course. In East back. Africa, in East, generally, that simply means in East Africa, yeah. uh, East Africans we are laid back. Yeah, like we, it's not it's not like a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. It's just our personality. Uh -huh. uh, like we don't talk so loud. I'm probably the loudest Kenyan. No. Uh, we don't. <laughs> 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 yeah, we don't talk so we don't so, talk so loudly. Um, and like we are more calm. I don't know how to put it, but if you know, if you get it, yeah, that's why I can say. I can say we are more laid back. Yeah, as people, we just more like into quiet people. We're not used to like loud. Yeah, but they are loud, but not in a bad way. They are funny. Yeah. Uh, they are very hilarious. Yeah. Like sometimes, okay, they don't take anything too seriously. That's all I can say. They don't take anything too seriously. There is a friend yeah. I had some attack from uh, Jamaica, so. Uh -huh. so I thought these guys maybe they are not friends, but uh -huh. now you're painting a different picture from what uh, uh -huh. I got that time. Yeah. You heard attacks from Jamaicans. Yeah, some, why? some Jamaicans. They were like, "Oh, you guys, you don't like, you don't like D. Like this girl by the name D Mwango." I don't yeah. know her. You don't know her. I don't know that, her. That is, there, there is uh, something I did, mm -hmm. and uh, this guy's been like whatever I was doing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That one I don't I think, know. I think that's a mistake I made somewhere. Uh -huh. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, but they, I'm making some friends from uh, Grenada. Grenada. Oh, Grenada. Have you, have you ever to I know as a Kenyan we call it Grenada, but it's Grenada. Grenada. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we learn every day. We yeah. call it as a Kenyan we say Grenada. I said that for the longest too, oh. until I came to learn they pronounce it as Grenada. Grenada. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So it's a beautiful country. It's the headquarters of Caricom. But as Kenyans, uh, it's, it's not visa free yet. It's not visa free no, for us. Visa -free. You need a visa, and the closest embassy is in Botswana of South Africa. Flying to Botswana is closest, but flying to Botswana is more expensive than flying to South Africa. So if you need a visa to Grenada, you'll have to go to South Africa. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Grenada. I'm going to be visiting if possible. I've made some contacts there. There's someone who's helping me. Yeah, get some visas there. I, I got someone. Yeah. Who's offering, uh, transport and what? Yeah. Someone is offering transport and transport uh, and accommodation. Uh, Once I reach there, uh -huh. not a flight ticket from Kenya. Uh -huh. But they are ready to accommodate me in Grenada and take uh -huh. me around. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's lovely. That's lovely. Yeah. Although you know when you travel, unless they have written or they help you get a visa and committed to that. Yeah. You might be denied boarding and all that, so oh. you must have like. And, and in case the people back out, back out, yeah. you should be able to be independent. So oh. don't, don't travel expecting someone to go and do anything for you. Oh. Yeah, have everything ready on your own. Oh. Yeah. I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah. You have you are more experienced in this than me. Yep. Yeah. The traffic jam is piling up. Uh huh. It's rush hour. This is city center. We're going on the out, out, on the outermost road. Yeah. This is 5:23, so it's going to take us even maybe 30 minutes to just cross this section. Yeah. Welcome to my home country. This is Nairobi, Kenya, with our matatus. I know people have heard a lot about matatus. So this is what the matatus. 
look like some of them. Tell them about, tell them about uh, the Nairobi Expressway. Nairobi Expressway. Yeah. What should I say? You are the one who stays there, here more. There, there is this uh, road. Yeah. Above us, yeah. If we didn't want to get caught in traffic, exactly. Yeah, well, we could well. have used this road above here. Yeah. It's at all. Actually, we could have used it. It's not expensive. It's not expensive. Because it's about should have been a, probably about two hundred shillings. Yeah, two hundred shillings. To where we are going to exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, that's less. That's less than two dollars. Yeah. Maybe at some point we're going to use it. But right now the next crossing, the, the next one where we can get it's just a waste of time because it's just, this is the toughest part you should have avoided actually. Oh. Yeah, between here to, uh, how is it called, Hill Silase. Mm. This is the worst part when it comes to traffic. Yeah. Cindy, okay. from here to Hill Silase, if you remember you could have taken the the expressway above here. Right now we could have taken the expressway above but then you are an international traveler. Uh -huh. Nar do Nairobians recognize you? Do Kenyans recognize you on the streets? Of course. Uh, of course, I'm a Kenyan. <laughs> of course, um, um, of course, I'm a Kenyan. And yeah, it 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 does happen. Even yesterday, yesterday, even today, even when you don't want to meet people, like you know that, that sometimes when you just yeah. like rusty. Yeah, yeah. And you don't want to meet anybody, like you're just yeah. trying to. Yeah, I, I do meet people. Yesterday, even at a restaurant where I was, yeah. someone was like, Oh, African Tiger, oh my goodness, you're here you're in Kenya, I thought you're in Trinidad. Yeah. yeah. Though these guys don't follow uh, so I, uh, English content. Kenyans don't most watch of, English most content. Of, most of them uh, watch so I, uh, Actually, for me, I really can. I do have quite a good uh, uh, number of Kenyan audience. And uh, a lot of Kenyans are also like even when I, you you see uh, maybe people in the US and yeah. all that, yeah. some of them are actually Kenyans. Oh, yeah, Kenyan diaspora they watch yeah. even like when I see Germany as an audience, most of them I know the Kenyans as well. But I can't say it's the highest audience. Of course, my highest is the US, yeah. UK. Those are like they've always been. They've all, since I started the channel, it's always been US, my UK, is Canada. US too. Oh, your highest is US too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, so no, mine. I can match yours. Yeah, so mine is the highest is US, uh, US, UK, Canada. Mm -hmm. Those ones have always been on the top, and then Kenya is probably number four or fifth there. Oh. But it's it, it, it's it's this it's a decent number. But you know when you say like this US and all that, yeah. a lot of them are just Africans from different countries. Uh, you know, African diaspora who are watching us mm -hmm. still. It's not like oh Kenyans are not watching. No Kenyans are watching. But some of them are just in the diaspora, they're in the US, they are the Kenyans living in Canada. Some of them I talk to them uh, like in person, so I know actually there's Ken lots of Kenyans who watch me too. Sure, some want to know uh, how their counterpart, their fellow Kenyan is doing out there. Yeah, yeah, I, I do get, I, I really do get a, a lot of love and support. But they chose a good name. Huh? The African like yeah. I, I, I've actually had it since I was uh, even, well, even before I became a teenager. Ah. So I, I what always used you to, uh, to start that, uh, to call yourself so? Um, it's because of where I schooled, we had groups and our group was Tiger. Oh, so yeah. whenever we were doing presentation, we used to hype you ourselves. The <laughs> so the ladies were the tigresses, the men, the boys um, were the tigers. The so it tigers. was, yeah, tigers and tigresses. Mm. And because everybody says, oh, there are no tigers in Africa. So that was a good thing because we are rare. Yeah. And when people tell me there are no tigers in Africa, I'm saying, oh, you must be so lucky to have met one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. you are the only tiger, I guess. Yes. Tiger, yeah, guess. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. So we're still stuck in traffic. It's moving slowly. Yeah, it's moving slowly. We'll be there. We'll be there. Including some people from Somalia, also even Ethiopia. 
lot of Kuchia. Yeah, a lot of East. I can say Kushites. Kushites. Yeah, a lot of Kushites. Even Kenyan Somali, Oromo, and all that. And some few Indians, yeah. They are the dominant one. Yeah, from city center to their to their homes. Yeah, actually, this place is not far from city center. Sure. Yeah, it can take you maybe 20, 30 minutes That's walking. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's even faster than someone, especially during rush hour. It's faster than someone who's actually taking up. Yeah, they already got, they already got home. Yeah, yeah, they got they got home faster. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about this. Kenyans are driving big vehicles and they can't they don't feel the economy. Haria aunties. Yeah, they are still big Oh this is K wait, we are at KDP. Yeah, KDP. That's the latest. That's where we are yeah, right now. Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are still staying with the parents. It's because of the culture. the culture. It's the culture because most of them are a good number, like we said, from the, the Kushite communities. Oh, yeah, sure. Be, be it Ethiopians, Eritreans, Djiboutians, Somalians, Kenyans, but they're like mostly Kushites. So it's, I think, in the culture. Because let me tell you, now if you're getting surprised with that, yeah. there's something uh, somebody told me in the Caribbean and I was quite surprised yeah. so they are married yeah. but the man okay the, 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 the mother has like big property like big compound uh -huh. a house yeah so yeah. the man who was marrying the daughter yeah. moved into the same compound oh yes with your yes <laughs> yes yes I was like that's quite different that can never be Kenya like it doesn't matter how good the, it doesn't matter if your parents are staying in Runda <laughs> oh, Mudaiga, like, yeah, they stay in a top, 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 top neighborhood. I can't but imagine. It, yes. I can't imagine welcoming my son-in-law in my house and imagine. Not in your house necessarily, but in a compound. Same compound. Yeah, same compound, maybe like five houses, but like your daughters, when they get married, they are not going to the man's house. Oh. They are staying, they are staying in, they are, no. they are staying, so the man moves in. You will be disabling this guy. You're not disabling him. <laughs> how? <laughs> how you? How? The boy, the boy will. The, the, the guy will never feel in charge of that house. And uh, you know, a man should always feel uh, the head. Of that house. <laughs> so, uh, so what if you That's want? The African, the African way of. So you'd rather take the girl to the ghetto, and this uh, is a girl coming from a posh place. I would, I would rather take her to the ghetto. And she doesn't, she won't come to the ghetto with you. So it's either you get a girl yeah, or go no, get a girl <laughs> that you can take to the ghetto. <laughs> that would accept That's that. <laughs> yeah, I saw that and I was like, I was, it, it was very hard for me to wrap my mind around it. But yeah, as long as they are happy. In this case, the, the man is getting married by the girl. No, that's, that's the Kenyan mentality. That's the Kenyan mentality. There's nothing like that. So I, I, I need to take away that mentality. Yeah, you need to take away that but mentality. I'm, I'm an African. Uh, eh? That's the way. Okay, the, that's, that's, that's the way Africans are brought up. If that's the case, then people should date their. They say date your what? Date your league. Mm. Yeah, that yeah. way. The, then someone won't <laughs> have to feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way, someone won't have to feel like they wow. are being married simply because the woman is the one yeah. who is, you know. Yeah. Ah. 
at least yeah i think that way that one would remove that kind of that mentality yeah that mentality i mean it won't really remove but uh, you won't get who you want you'll just go okay you'll get you might find someone but if you realize they're doing okay or better so you're gonna you know and they can't move to the ghetto with you yeah you know times are changing times are changing it's because in the past some places women were not allowed to have work yeah, this is our is wait this is our god do you see this guy yeah. Yeah, Eliud Kipchoge. You wanted to say Kipchoge K, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Eliud Kipchoge, the god. By the way, I was in, in a certain interview uh, two weeks ago. Yeah? They asked me a question about that guy. Uh -huh. Then uh, I rushed to say Kipchoge K, you know. Because that's the name yeah. that has been there for so long. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. See the building nice, nice rental apartment. Oh, wow. Belcourt Apartments. giving you a tour of South Sea today. South Sea, Nairobi, Kenya.
we are almost at our destination for today. Oh, in, in back entrance. Oh, oh, I've never known about this entrance. I just thought it had one entrance. The other entrance. Oh, yeah, we've got six. We are getting.